all right guys welcome in welcome back to above ground world news if you're not subscribed subscribe now click the bell if you're not getting your notifications go over to the d live tv above ground world news and subscribe there you'll always get your uh, notifications over there we stream all the platforms all at the same time anyway we're gonna jump right into this check this out the, the icon disappeared the i had the picture there in the thumbnail man it, it looks like chicken nuggets with eyes it's pretty crazy looking but a man is dead after an amoeba went up his nose and caused a fatal brain infection after he swam at the cumberland county lake the man became ill after a after he swam at fantasy lake water park in hope mills on july 22nd carolina department of health and human services said so this is a another brain eating amoeba so it entered through the nose caused a fatal brain infection well man that's pretty quick if it happened on the 22nd today's the 25th and he's already a goner man that's pretty uh pretty crazy right there hold on here let me uh i want to see if i can get to the what these things look like yeah there they are they look like a chicken nugget with an eye Uh, so man it's just getting like you can't even go into the water and then i think i reported on this before but this come out today deadly new fungal superbug is worrying doctors and what you need to know this is that same candida candida i don't know how to pronounce that the oris fungus i know there's other names for this stuff and i just can't think of it right now i'm really tired tonight so we're just gonna stumble through this So uh, month, months after the health officials of New York, New Jersey, and Illinois raised concerns about the new deadly fungal superbug, a study has suggested climate change may be playing a role. Well, we know right off the bat, it's fake news. Everything is climate change. You're going to keep pushing this climate change to no end. Later in the video here, I'm going to show you some more stuff. It's all going to uh the new world order agenda 2030 agenda 21 agenda 2050 it's all part of it the u.s air force geoscientists discover mechanisms controlling greenland's ice sheet collapse you know i was gonna in fact i'm gonna get into this article later let me get rid of that one hold on here we have gun confiscation without due process beginning in seattle all right here's where i wanted to go it looks like the stream keeps jumping around up and down yeah it's completely climate engineering that's what's causing the global warming it's fake global warming so we still have over 100 roads closed here in missouri highway 94 closed still due to flooding an overnight rise in the Missouri River has resulted in water covering the roadway between Route CC at Steedman and Callaway County, Road 476, west of Portland. Meanwhile, MoDOT reports Missouri 100 roads remain closed due to the floodwaters. And that's only between two counties. So there's way more than that that are still close hey thanks they're fed up much love out there us 41 near linwood road down to one lane after the heat buckles the road oh, it's now since be been reopened so yeah this is up over in wisconsin still have a bunch of storm damage up there from the storms that keep pounding them and then they there was a supposed to be an update on the two missing farmers 
here in Missouri and all they say on the update is they have not been found since Sunday and they're starting to search uh, oh now they're saying their rental vehicle was found abandoned at a park and ride about 30 miles northeast of Kansas City so now they are still searching ponds and homes very suspicious right here so the uh, Missouri Corps Missouri River levee repairs could last until 2021 pending funding they should already have the funding how could they not have the money we've been paying for the levee repairs for like 10 years since 93 all these levees should have been repaired they've already got the billions of dollars of money from the 1993 floods how come they're not done because they use the money for other things completely catastrophic flooding and tariffs causing chaos for the farmers so instead of saying it's the weather warfare they're gonna blame it on the terrorists they're blaming it on the propaganda this is uh, down in Arkansas his flooded rice field I mean they it's 14 states that have farms flooded and I'm talking millions of acres but yet you hear nothing on the mainstream news they're not going to give you the early warning on the food crisis they don't even they won't even tell us where the farmers are they don't tell us what they're doing for the farmers which brings me to this article this is coming out of Australia news how many humans can earth sustain and what does it mean if we're already past it it's come out on the 22nd or actually on the 24th so uh let's go ahead and take a look at this because this is always you know part of the uh, the new world order so when astronaut Jim Irwin stood on the moon in 1971, it's reported that he held at his arm, closed one eye, and put his thumb put up his thumb. His thumbnail blacked out the entire Earth from space, and with it, about 3.9 billion Earthlings. If he did the same thing today, his thud would his thumb would eclipse 7.7 .7 billion people. It is the first time it's taken to read this sentence about five seconds 24 people were born if you make it to the end of this article about five minutes more than 1400 people will have been born well how many people are they killing with the vaccines and the engineered viruses poisoning the water aquifers poisonous to the GMOs the cancer and the weather warfare of course this is why they think they need to get rid of us. Have you ever read the Georgia Guidestones? So far today, Earth's population, that is, births minus deaths, is about 140,000 people more than yesterday. This article is pretty BS, though, because if you look at it, every birth rate is down. The human race is going extinct. They're lying. There's no such thing as overpopulating the earth. There's tons and tons of land. There's enough land for everybody to have, you know, a hundred acres. So this is what they, they want to make you feel bad. They want to make you feel like you are ruining the earth. You're breathing too much air. Hey, thanks out there, Christy. The annual Earth Overshoot Day is set to occur on July 29th this year, three days earlier than last year. That's the day in 2019 when we will have used up all the resources that Earth's natural systems can provide and replace in one year, according to the Global Footprint Network. Another way to think of it, let's say you've got a certain amount of food that has to last us all year. 
well have been eaten by July 29th. Everything we're eating after that, we're taking from next year's supply and the year after and so on. No, that's not true. They're completely flooding the farmlands out. They're ruining them with chemicals and fracking and and fires and all kinds of man-made disasters and trying to blame it on too many people. There's too many people. There's not enough food for all these people. We need to get rid of the people. We are the peasants. And of course the United Nations will be behind all this. The Global Footprint Network bases its calculations primary on the United Nations data. Consumption of things like crops, food, fibers, livestock, seafood, timber, blah, blah, blah. How about the weather control systems? How about the electromagnetics they're inundating us with? How about the bunker fuel? How about the man-made fires? How about the fracking? We can go on and on over this stuff. Time to fight back. So much of the Arctic is on fire, you can see it from space. These are all engineered fires over in Russia. We show them almost every night. Alaska's on fire. They are creating, they are melting the Arctic on purpose. They got the railway to put it up there. They got the resources to steal. Thanks there, Jimmy. They try to say 2018 was the hottest year on record. You know, they, they talk about all the trying to, uh, here, let me get into that in a second. Check this out. Here's another climate scientist drives stake through hardest skeptics argument. Bull crap. The argument's just begun. Global warming skeptics sometimes say rising temperatures are just another natural occurring shift in the Earth's climate. Like the medieval warm period of the year 1800 to 1200 or the Little Ice Age period of a cooling span that roughly from 1300 to 1850. But a pair of studies published Wednesdays provide stark evidence that the rise in global temperatures over the past 150 years has been far more rapid and widespread than any warming period in the past 2,000 years. There's a reason for that. That's because they're trapping the heat in. That's because they're affecting the climate. This is a engineered rising temperatures. You don't put a blanket over the sky to keep warm or to keep cold you put it up there to heat up to keep you warm so all these aerosols that are being deployed from the ground from the ships from the sky is creating a blanket you know at the same time these same nut bags are trying to say they need to geoengineer the planet to cool it down it's not going to cool it down it's going to heat it up they say they're trying to mimic volcanoes. We've had so many volcanoes that has went off this year. There should, you know, next year we're going to be freezing our butts off. Tons and tons of fires going on. They've already created the blanket. They've already created the global warming event. It's global warming Nah, it's global climate control. They have their they have their hand on the knob of the temperature of the earth and they're gonna use that to push the agenda that there's too many people. You must be exterminated. That's why we have to do this agenda twenty thirty, agenda twenty fifty, agenda twenty one. You are the problem. Well, we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna keep on fighting these crazy people. Strongest summer jet stream ever recorded over the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I wonder why. It's just like what they did to steer the polar vortex winds. 
The jet stream is a narrow current of strong winds in the upper troposphere, roughly 25,000, 35,000 feet. It is the conduit for storms and is associated with large temperature gradients in the middle and lower troposphere. Winds in the jet stream are westerly from the west. Aircraft like to fly in the jet stream going east while avo uh, avoiding it going west. Well, we already know that the atmospheric river is up here too. The rivers of the sky are up here. And they want to steer it. They have been steering it. They control all this stuff. Completely controlled. Let's go here and uh, jump into the map here. We're looking at the ghost 16. We're looking at the cirrus layer. Cirrus. They call them cirrus clouds. These are the stratospheric injection. These are all man-made clouds. The aerosol operations have picked up today big time. Now they hit us here in Missouri with the migraine inducing sprays. Yeah, you're lucky. You may have, you know, you might get a week. If you're really lucky, you might get two weeks of clear skies, but they're coming. They're going to do the pattern change. It, they're already started over in California. California is getting aerosols. Most of the rain, most of these clouds that are showing up are fake man-made clouds. You can see the aerosols being deployed all the way up through Canada, all the way down through Wisconsin, Iowa, and then right down here into Missouri, all the way down through Texas. And we'll zoom in on these areas. You have water evaporating generation stations going on in Michigan. You got all the fire smoke on the east coast coast you got all the bunker fuel on the west coast there it's like a three part four part mix now when you add on the electromagnetics you add on the cloud ionizers are set up all over the place you have engineered weather tons of spray look at the spring going or it starts out looks like it starts out right i'm trying to see where that started out Looks like it's going to be starting out maybe in Indiana, Indiana or see what it's here. It comes, oh, no, it started out right there in Ohio, goes right into uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And like I said, you got a big time aerosol spray coming out of Toronto going into Minnesota. And then you got the water evaporation stations going, the power plants. Here's another big aerosol line all out ahead of these clouds. The weird thing, these clouds aren't producing rain. They're just producing toxic air. You got spraying going on in Nevada, California, Utah, into Nebraska, down in Texas, New Mexico. So the spraying operations are picking up. They're over here in Florida. You got them in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, a whole line of aerosols being deployed. Let's go ahead and bring this map over. They're censoring this map a little bit. I, mean, I just showed you the live. Look at these aerosols right here in Kansas. They start out as a little, a little bit of spraying. It looks like a, a small spraying operation. But once you start clicking the layers, you can see how they turn into a weather system. Man-made cirrus clouds. That's what they are. They probably had to come up with the name Cirrus Cloud to explain what they're doing. How many Cirrus Clouds were around when you were a kid, if you're old enough? I don't think there was Cirrus Clouds. I don't know when they invented them. Could have been in the 18, 1900s. So these pictures and images are coming in pretty late. Now you can definitely see the aerosols go all the way down through Texas. Hey, thanks out there, Cassandra. Anybody I missed out there. Goes all the way through Texas down into Mexico, right over the border. Looks like Sonora is getting blasted. So the aerosols have definitely picked up, picked up down here in Mexico. And we're really seeing them here in California. 
your clear sky days are over. So on top of the stagnant air, now you can add the chemtrails in the mix. You can add the geoengineered global warming. You can add the blanket of synthetic clouds to the menu. And I wonder if I can pick up the ship tracks. Are they out here? Usually what happens, usually the aerosols by the planes pick up the shipping operations, go down. When there is no chemtrails, there's major bunker fuel being deployed. It's like they can't stop. They have to just keep spraying. So yeah, we got a few right here underneath the Aleutian Islands and they're going straight over in the Pacific and they're a little bit farther south this time. They're down more around the, uh, yeah, they're still kind of they're pretty far out off the Kamchatka Peninsula here. There's still quite a few and the map's not all the way loaded. Let's go ahead and get that off. So the fires over here in Russia, I probably had to go the other way, but we got fires. We got aerosols being deployed over Alaska. We can just check way up here, up here in Canada, aerosols, fires, they go hand in hand. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Let's we'll throw a little, uh, accelerants on the fire and then we'll, uh, get it lit up. And it looks like the stream is really starting to lay out. Oh, now it's back in the green. Now it's back out. What the heck? Uh, now we got the dogs. I may have to mute out. I'm not sure here. So yeah, man, it's all, it's all about the Georgia Godstones. They were like the cockroaches of the planet and the satanic worshipers are going to try to take us out. So we're going to have to rise and stop them eventually can't go on much farther. Something's got to give. How is Soros still alive? How about the Rockefellers? How about all these psychopaths out there? How come they're still alive? Because they take blood transfusions, man. They take the kids, the blood of unborn children. They take the blood of young people and they cycle it through their bodies which makes them younger. That's why the chemtrails don't bother them. Plus they don't eat the same foods that we have to eat. Looks like we got some kind of super grid going over Ireland. So we have a mega super grid of aerosols. Now they got this big heat wave parked over over here is all engineered. You got aerosols being deployed in Spain. So yeah, this is some kind of crazy grid, super grid going right over Ireland. So that's a, see if I can click these layers. It may not load, but yeah, it's probably not going to load. We'll give it a second though. We, Kind of need to look at that because that's pretty uh, suspect there. Just seeing what tabs I got up. Now there's some other news I was going to get into. And I'll, I'll probably save it for tomorrow. One of them was the Arctic Circle burns as heat waves plague Europe. The U.S. federal government reinstates the death penalty. Notre Dame vaulted ceiling at further risk. There's a deadly fungus. We went over that one. Climate change. We have it. Yeah, we went over that one. There's a tuna parasite threatening Port Lincoln's multi-million dollar industry. We'll probably get into them tomorrow. So now the tuna industry is being attacked. It's like, what the heck is everybody going to eat? You're going to have to get your own chickens your own animals. You got to get them before they turn them all GMO. Time is short.
I need to do a little update video. Uh, Radical Ralph sent me some seeds, and I got a, some pretty good stuff growing. Got some melons growing, some pumpkins growing, some corn growing, some popcorn. And, of course, I got all the goodies to make hot sauce, peppers, tomato, hundreds of tomatoes, all the greenery and stuff. I grow my own tea. And also, I have a plant. I can't remember what it's called, but it, it, it's, it's a sweetener, but it's just leaves, and it tastes just like sugar. And I can't remember what the plant is. But you could put a couple of them leaves in your coffee, and it, it tastes just like you put sugar in there, but it's just a plant. So we got a big dust storm going on down here in you know, off the coast of uh, Africa down here. And it looks like the dust is start to, starting to thin out there off the Sahara's. What do we got going over here? Probably nothing. Yeah, I got some of that growing too there. That Camaro, I can't remember how to pronounce that either. I don't even know what it's for, but I got it growing. Stevia, stevia, hell, I don't know. Yeah, I think that is it. I don't know what it is, man. I started growing it a couple of years ago, and I accidentally mowed it. But yet it just keeps on coming back. Yeah, I mean, like, potatoes are really easy to grow, man. You can grow them in buckets all year round. Yeah, I've heard that. I've tried the apricot apricot seeds can also kill you you better research that even more that's a little risky game there with the apricot seeds so just kind of taking a quick look at these this is going to be a pretty short show man i'm pretty uh pretty spent tonight haven't got any kind of video footage yet from the uh nuclear drills going on in central missouri i was hoping to be able to break away today and go up there but yeah there's no way no time all right so this isn't gonna load very good either all right let's take a quick look at the radars and what I want to point out I may have to zoom in on this but uh, if you look up here in Minnesota and you watch these storms come traversing from west to east you're gonna see all these radars are gonna be turned down until the rain goes by see the radars are turned down look here comes a little bit of rain Watch this radar here on the border. They'll turn it down as the rain comes. That's how they want it to flow through. Radar is almost off. It's almost off. It's off. Rain comes through and they start cranking it up. They'll start cranking it up to push the system off after it goes by. A lot of this stuff is the aerosols being deployed. It looks like rain. It's just heavy aerosols. Over here in Michigan, we have the water generating stations going. That's like a chaff. That's not rain right there that's, you know, dripping out and fluming up. See how they turned that radar down right there in Wisconsin as the rain got there. Well, let me back that up so you guys can see. See, the ra radar is up pretty high. Rain's coming right at the radar. It gets right to the edge. Of, oh, that's up too high. We got to turn that down so the rain can come through. Huh. That's not the sun. That is weather control 101 right there. Military radar still going off down there in Southern California. There's actually a lot of stuff going on on this map. 
but uh, that's probably good for now. And then we check the aerosols, and I'm gonna try to pull in on probably the most best one that stands out the best here. Yeah, I know the the aerosols they deployed over Missouri gave me an instant migraine. Like I always get a migraine before they're even here. And then when I go outside, there they are. They're bombarding the sky as nothing. It took me a long time to figure out why I was getting the migraines. I thought it was pressures. I thought it was allergies. It's none of that. It's the aerosols. Some people are highly affected by these aerosols that are being deployed. I just had to be one of them. So why did it, uh, why did it stop there? That's weird. It just kind of like decided to reload itself. Yeah, there's like a lot of places that are being sprayed here. Looks like. Let me just check this one out. And see if it, it's like a, a by itself spraying operation. So I want to see if this shows up on here. Yeah, there it is. Probably didn't need the whole 200 frames. But yeah, that's all a... You can see all the X's and grids. So that's complete fabrication. And then it, look, they're still hitting it. So that has to ha have something to do with this line over here. Like why would they do a random spray like that? That doesn't get into the other spraying over here. So what was going on with that? Did they hit the wrong target? Or is this the target? Maybe they're spraying some kind of uh, something else. So that's a very suspect spray. When you see the sprays going on and it's not for a storm, that needs to be paid attention to. See, like we know all these sprays and these over here. So you got Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, New Mexico, all these places are being hit with tons of X patterns. X patterns in short sprays. That usually means rain. These segmented sprays usually means rain. Look at this concentrated spray over New Mexico. The whole state of Oklahoma is being sprayed central Texas central Arkansas and central Missouri they're hitting all these central areas of all these states super grids everywhere so right smack in the middle of these states are being hit and then you got that real heavy one there let's go check California because I'm pretty sure I've seen them getting sprayed hey thanks out there Mark Yeah, it's pretty nuts, man. People that aren't awake, they just don't look up. And if they do, they don't they don't connect the dots because the mainstream media is programming their minds. Take a look at even the cartoons now have chemtrails in the background. Every commercial on TV almost have chemtrails in the background. They're trying to make it look normal, like it's supposed to be there. That's the way it is. They're doing all the programming to desensitize people from it. You know, only the awake know. And now, you know, it's trying to get them to look up and pay attention. So, yeah, there was a real heavy spraying operation really f defined in a real small area. And then it goes on up into Northern California. You also got X's being deployed over Nevada. So yeah, there's definitely tons of aerosols being deployed over California and Nevada. Let's go check Florida. I know they got a little bit of weather going on down there.
and that's probably our job to wake the people up because if they just watch mainstream they'll never wake up they'll fall for the plan so we got heavier assaults being deployed over northern florida southern florida georgia gulf of mexico so the spring operations are back in full swing so everybody i know we got a couple day break here in missouri i think it was actually about four days which is really rare normally you get about a two day break so we got a little bit of an extended clear sky but it'll all change so enjoy the skies while you can and the bad thing is even though you may not be seeing the trails they could be spraying you know west of you and the stuff will be drifting down you won't even see it but it'll be on your car windshields it'll be on your car it'll be on your soil so let me go ahead and turn that down let's go right up here into canada see if we can pick that one up So yeah, you know, the, they're going to go by their Georgia Guidestones. They're going to go by their, their UN security plan to depopulate. Everything is multifaceted. Everything is multi-purpose. Even the spraying operations, the vaccines are multi-purpose. The GMO is multi-purpose. Everything is. They have plans for all this stuff. And, uh, it's going right to their plan. That's why it's time to uh, get people to wake up, man. We're running out of time. You know, pretty soon nobody's, once they get all this 5G millimeter waves going, they're going to be able to implant stuff into your mind. They could do it with the LED light bulbs, your TV. You do know your TV is recording you and listening to you. And all the people with the Alexas and all that type stuff in your house, that is a big no-no. You don't want that kind of technology in your house. They're listening to everything you say, even when it's turned off, even when your phone is off, it can listen to you. Look that stuff up. Look what's in the TVs. They've all admitted, I mean, they've all admitted to it. Hey, thanks out there, Mark. The ozone levels, uh, we might be able to look at that. I don't have that. The thing I use for that is, uh, would take a long time to load. I, and I got to find the link. I use like it's a solar place that has like them all, but we can kind of look at it right here. fact let me just see if I can find it I gotta try to remember how to spell that map it's a European model map that I use and uh, man I can't remember I'm like too tired to find this stuff right now I'll, I'll dig that up for tomorrow we'll check the ozone levels tomorrow what we do want to check right now though is the let's go to the polar vortex winds and you're going to see all the winds are down here in the southern hemisphere and that'll be changing when it starts going back to winter this whole polar vortex is going to go right back up it's going to split apart look all crazy and get back up here Hopefully the weather control devices break down by then. But what I want to look at is the temperatures because what I noticed yesterday. Thanks out there, Julie. I noticed yesterday, see, they're doing a heating event right over the Arctic. All this grayish color, that's a heating event. Look, they have a heating event down here 
above the Antarctic. And the weird thing, you gotta remember, like they shouldn't be getting these heating events if they're in winter time. It's really easy to show here. If we go back to 2018, we go to December, and I think it's about December 23rd. I'll show you what a man-made rapid heating event is. So here we are, here's the United States. Now up here, they tried to send us a Christmas present. This is on December, tw or, uh, December 23rd, 2018. Now we can go back. It may take a little bit for this low. We'll go back one day. And what you're going to see, I'm going to keep on going back till this thing emanates, starts emanating. So this is winter time. There is no sun up here in the winter time to create a rapid heating event. It, it goes, you know, it happens right here over Russia, China area. So it looks like it started on the 20th. And when you go up a day, you get this. And the crazy thing is you keep watching this rapid heating event. You got to get it all to load up here. Now they're pushing that polar vortex. They want to park this thing over the United States. And that's what they did. But I'm going to show you what happened. So they kind of pushed it too far from the this side so it started pushing that cold air over into Europe and here in a second you're gonna see how they got it back over the United States it's kind of taking a long time to load so look at that they they completely moved the polar cold temperature out of out of the the north so now you got mega cold air, polar air that was over Europe and just partly over the United States. This is on 12-31-2018. So what do they do? They start pushing this polar vortex from the Europe side. I mean, this is just insane. So they're like, holy crap, we got the polar vortex over Europe. We want that thing over the United States. We're going to have to heat that from the other side. See, the whole polar vortex was parked over Europe. Here we are on uh, January 6th. So look, the same signature that was over here that pushed the polar vortex the first time. Here on January 6th, they push it from the other direction. Thanks out there wing maker so now watch this now we we go forward a day at a time look at that they're completely controlling the polar vortex it's dark up here there's no sun to create a heating event the only thing that is creating a heating event is the electromagnetic warfare so look so they push it from the europe side and now look now the polar vortex is parked directly over the United States and it stays here for a month over a month it never moves there's never no other heating event so uh, yeah that's how they created the polar vortex this winter that's how we got so cold and that's why I watch these heating events you know because something's going on with the electromagnetics for sure let's go ahead and check the polar vortex or the uh, jet stream winds so we know they created this funky you know kind of a trough like like it's ripped all the way down to the equator almost so that the jet streams completely ripped I mean they're calling this a trough but it's it's not really a trough. I, don't, I mean, it kind of was for a day, but it's not now. And then the jet stream is just all freaked out. Let's go ahead and check the vortice layer. This is the scalar field level. 
around 500. HPA so yeah it's not really connecting the winds you know usually if you have the jet stream that's a trough in it where it's not picking up wind should be down a little lower but it's not look there's like no winds there where's them winds they're not connected that's like not a normal trough that's an engineered event let's go ahead and just check the uh three hour precipitation forecast not a whole lot going on a little bit there in florida a little bit over you know the mountains here i want to go ahead and check the pressures all the low pressures up here where where they're heating everything maybe a little bit of tropical stuff going on there oh, i wanted to go over to the ocean Still really no too big a ocean. Let's go ahead and check the temperatures. Got to document this a little bit. So everything's looking pretty normal there. We'll check the anomalies. Ooh, it's kind of cooling off a little bit on this side of the Bering Sea there. But yeah, look, everything's actually cooled down a little bit. Looks like a demon face. So it's starting to warm back up a little bit since yesterday. strange there a good thing to look at though so here is our fires up in russia and when you look at them it looks like they dropped a cluster bomb and lit all these up at once you got all the fires here in alaska here's all the fires in canada maybe a little bit of uh, fires or volcanic stuff then you just got you know complete bunker fuel and carbon monoxide leaking out of the ground you got the industrial waste so right here looking at this map the united states is kind of nasty right now that's why it's not a deep blue sky let's go ahead and check the carbon dioxide really bad here in the baja southern california the east coast has gotten a little better here's all the surf sulfur dioxide and you can see these long straight lines that's the ship tracks that's the cargo lanes that's where the extra lightning that's where all the sulfur is coming from that's the global warming right there that's the ocean part of it or when phase of it so here's the next big wave of sahara dust man there's like gonna be no dust left in the sahara desert it's all blowing over here into the gulf of mexico and then up into the united states when you got stuff like this coming in it don't even matter what the ozone looks like because this is getting us from ground level let's see if we can take this forward so yeah it's going to be right over the the islands going to come right up into the Gulf of Mexico and go north so yeah so all that stuff is coming in again this is what gave me the chest infection on top of the chemtrails so when you mix this with the bunker fuel and the chemtrails a lot of people are going to get sick from this they're going to have a chest infection thanks out there Patrick you know the doctors are going to try to load you up with you know antibiotic steroids it won't work it it don't work so far i just had to battle it so anyway let's check the pm 2.5s yeah look at look at all the nasty air you know this is like just as bad as a volcano why do they need to spray the skies we've had tons of volcanoes going off we got all this toxic crap in, up in the air. We have particulates everywhere. Yeah, so. Ugh, pretty high levels of the PM 2.5s. Yeah, man, I keep yawning. I'm, I'm pretty well done. Still spraying operations all over Australia. New Zealand got hit yesterday. Looks like they're still getting hit a little bit. 
aerosols going all the way up into Indonesia. So I think we're going to go ahead and pretty close to a full show, but we'll go ahead and call this a show and we'll try to get back on here tomorrow. Much love out there, guys. Uh, stay safe. Get you some food growing in your house. Grow some plants in buckets. Get you a little grow light or something. Anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow night. God willing, we're going to play a couple songs and we're going to jump out of here. I'll jump over to the D Live and give away the treasure chest and all that crap. Thanks for getting this stuff shared out there. We got to go beyond the Google Analytics because they keep blocking this stuff. They keep taking away people's comments, taking away the thumbs up, hiding the video. It's just a madness what's going on. Anyway, guys, much love. Here we go. Let's rise. We're going to have to soon. Armor up.